friends welcome to my channel today i'm going to do kimchi fried rice so as you see these are the ingredients i'm going to use to make kimchi fried rice kimchi fried rice is a quick korean easy making rice dish and you have seen lots in k dramas that they make like a quick dinner or lunch or breakfast item so kimchi is one of them so this is kimchi water which i'm going to take it's very essential to have kimchi water while making kimchi fried rice and um, these are the ingredients which i'm going to use so let's introduce with some ingredients so these are the kimchi which i finally chopped and i took almost like one cup maybe more than one and a half cup and this is a mushroom shiitake mushroom to have some chewy uh, finish to it so that's it and this is some spring onion for the garnish and to have some green so this is a rice i use sushi rice you can use any short grain rice and uh, you can make it with leftover white rice and these are the bean sprout which i'm going to use this is a chicken to have some protein so you can like replace with tofu or any other protein you like to and yes this is a kimchi water which is like much needed to get the flavor of the kimchi and so yeah these are the like main ingredients and i hope it's very easy to find it and it's very easy to make it does not need a lot of time but i do not i do not have the leftover rice or anything so i'm going to make rice from the scratch in rice cooker so that will be done out there so i'm taking rice in the rice cooker so i think i used exactly one and a half cup of rice or something like that and follow the instruction how it has to be done and so i think i have taken like one and a half cup of rice and uh, or maybe two third of rice two third of cup of rice so i'm not sure i take like one cup rice and two cup of water and uh, cook it in a rice cooker and that is more convenient for you all and uh, after that uh, when you take like exactly that much cup of water or uh, uh, so basically i have used two cup of water two cup of rice so it is like two four cup of water and added some salt mixed it well in the water and uh, kept it in rice cooker to cook and it automatically gets stopped so when you're on the rice cooker so it does not mean you have to keep you know keep watching on rice so this is the most safest way of doing it so now let's start uh, getting into the cooking level so i take a pan nice wok or a big pan once the pan get heated i add around uh, oil cooking oil or whichever oil you like you want to do uh, you want to use you can use i use the cooking oil and i take an around 2 tablespoon of cooking oil then goes with minced garlic yes minced garlic is must in korean dish and i think without garlic korean dish is incomplete and gives a good flavor and good for your stomach as well so there's no and uh, saute the garlic very nicely so it releases the good aroma from there and so when the garlic is sauteed you can add some protein to the this fried rice so i had a chicken you can add tofu or you can you can even skip out of those things and because no need to worry not necessary to have to have but if you do not have mushroom and that this is fine actually kimchi fried is just simple kimchi and rice but these are just extra flavor which i'm adding to this to have so add some salt for the chicken uh, for the taste so the chicken does not like you know run out of salt <laughs> i mean taste exactly and once this is done uh once you finish sauteing the chicken and it's cooked almost like 3/4 uh, or more than 80% of the chicken now you can add some kimchi 
uh, chopped kimchi to the pan and saute it very well and you no need to add any other spice or salt again because kimchi is already having the flavor and don't add too much of salt as well as to the chicken as because of the sour and saltiness of the kimchi it really coat it very well and that is very important over here so once chicken is uh, and kimchi gets combined together properly and sorted very well you can even add gochujang or gochujaru like korean paste or korean chili powder to it to have more intense colors but it's okay now you have added the mushroom and saute it very well yeah this might look over stuff you can even skip mushroom it not necessary you need to have mushroom now i added the bean sprout as well saute it very nicely and let it cook once you finish sorting let it cook there for a while like in a closed pan around like 2 to 3 minutes so let's everything get absorbed in chicken and in the mushroom the flavor of kimchi and the kimchi let it cook nicely because need to be done so once it gets cooked very nicely now they you gonna add the rice is simple as a wit is so it's no need to like think about too much on that now i add the cooked rice depending on how much rice needed you can add on that no need to add like everything and and i add the kimchi water as well don't worry it does not get soggy it will get cooked so cook in still high flame so water get absorb more and uh, it uh, removes the water excess of it so it remains dry so this is how it is i did not add gochujang or gochugaru uh, thing to get the intense color i just went with a kimchi plain color and i think that is more than enough if but if you want more spice to it so you can add those things especially gochujang paste i think it will have the intense color and the spiciness to it so i think that will be like perfect for you so i'm just checking out the little bit of like whether everything is perfect so i think everything is perfect i no need to add anything and this how exactly it looks like with all the proteins and everything so i'm adding sesame oil at the end to have that flavor i think korean dish without garlic and sesame totally incomplete and even for the pokki you do add sesame oil at the end to have that flavor of this and it's very good for health as well those two ingredients and it helps you in digestion and sesame has a lot of calcium so see, it's perfectly perfectly done as you all see and it's like perfectly good so now let's garnish this one so i like put it in a bowl and you know Actually, the you know, Korean people just eat it from the pan itself, but I need to have some garnish. And uh, on topping of the garnish, I did add some spring onion while cooking the kimchi fried rice. I did not record it. And uh, again, I'm gonna garnish with some spring onion on top. And some seaweed. these are the optional step you know the classic korean kimchi fried rice you just take off from the pan and just eat it like that and that is more of intensity the of that style of eating you see k drama so i added some sesame seed as well and in the end you know that's the intent this is just for the decorating style of doing it and that's how i have done and hope and you no know, like serve it with the egg you know you can have like half boiled egg or anything omelet but for me this is perfect and thank you guys for watching